morning guys. So I'm still kind of asleep. Um, I'm trying to clean off the counter so I can do some meal prep for the day. Uh, and I thought I would show you guys that. It's really just me making my meals for the day. Today is a lower intake day so it's a lot more important that I stick to my macronutrient goals. So yeah, I'm going to finish cleaning off the counter and the dishes so I can actually have some space to make my food for the day. The cold and the roses never bloom. Talking to me? Just go. What do you want? What do you want? Hello, Brady. Brady. Eat your breakfast. I like the little nub in the middle. I know. <laughs> How's that for pancake? Pretty thick little pancake. Thick little? There's two of them. There's there? two. Oh. And bananas. And your syrup. <laughs> Alright guys, and I'm just going to go over the rest of the stuff that I ate for, or that I at least prepared for the day. Um, now granted this is not my snacks, this is just my main meals. So this is a light life veggie sausage. There's seven grams of protein per serving and it's actually really good. The consistency is kind of thick, but I like it. So I paired that with some angel hair coleslaw and I just measured out two portions of this sausage, uh, stuck it in a pan and you have to kind of chop it up just like any other sausage product, you know, it, comes out of a tube so um so i'm gonna brown that a little bit and then i add the whole bag of coleslaw and i just cook it with some seasoning this is just a spicy seasoning until the coleslaw is soft and translucent i think is is the word and it's a really good high volume low fat high protein meal um and i added some liquid aminos which are basically soy sauce um but apparently it's healthier for you i'm not quite sure why but anyway we like it um, and then I had to do the dishes 
Again, after doing uh, the pancakes and making my lunch, um, RV living, you constantly have to do dishes. So then I just stick that in a, a little bowl. And like I said, it's really high volume. This was gonna be my dinner. So this is edamame and mung bean pasta. And you can see there's 11 grams of fiber and 22 protein per serving. So it's a really good high protein, high fiber option because it's made out of beans. It's pretty freaking cool. And they have all different kinds. Um, I really like the black bean one. So I know they look kind of strange just because they're colored the same color as the beans. So the black bean pasta is actually dark um, and it looks kind of crazy, but at the same time, it's just beans. Like it's delicious. Um, I obviously had some trouble putting it in the pan here, but a uh, really good high fiber, high protein option. Um, so the pasta itself, you could just have this as the meal, you know, super simple. And sometimes I'll just add some salt to it and eat it like that. I just really, really enjoy it. So I'm measuring out two servings. I measure the whole plate cooked and then I just take out roughly two servings of it and that's going to be for my dinner um, and we found this at a health food store I'm pretty sure Whole Foods has it I've seen it online um, so you can buy it at several different places I'm not sure about local grocery stores I haven't yet seen it there but so I've got that and I think two servings of that's like 40 grams of protein and then I've got textured vegetable protein here which is TVP and all it is is defatted soy flour. So it's just little soybeans um, and they're dried. So you have to rehydrate them. And how I do that, you can either use veggie broth or water and you just add just enough water, a little bit of seasoning. I added some garlic and you heat it in the microwave and it absorbs up the liquid. So it's just kind of like when you cook beans from dry, you have to rehydrate them. But this rehydrates a lot more quickly than if you were to use an actual bean itself. So I'm making a kind of a meaty pasta sauce here. Um, so I just added some regular pasta sauce, mix it up with the TVP and that's just one serving. So it's a good, good amount of volume and it takes on the flavor of whatever else you put it in. Um, I've actually put it in my oatmeal before uh, to add some protein in there. So you just mix it all together and then I think I add some more sauce here and I am going to combine it with the green pasta. So it makes a very oddly colored meal, but it's delicious. Um, yeah, it's, it's real appetizing, I know, but I don't really care because I like it. So this was my lunch and I think this one came in at like 55 grams of protein um, and about 15 grams of fiber. So if you guys are looking for an extra source of fiber in your diet, this I highly recommend that bean pasta or just beans in general. So that's my dinner. Um, and then I also start out the morning with vitamins and supplements. Um, in the bag there is creatine. I take that daily. I also mix it with some pre-workout in branched chain amino acids for my workout itself. And then I take D3, iron, omega, and anxiety pills, which have B vitamins in them. And those are my supplements for the day. So that's about it, guys. Like I said, there I did have some snacks throughout the day too, which I did not show because I kind of make those on the fly. But other than that, you know, my Meals are pretty dang simple. Um, I try and keep it simple so you don't have to do a lot of thinking. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure and hit that thumbs up. If you'll have any questions about my diet or anything that I ate, please let me know in the comments below. Look forward to seeing you guys in Monday's video and we'll see y'all soon.